In this video, let's take a look at some of the options we have for publishing our VLIP project. Once you've finished your project, go ahead and save it, and then you can preview it in a browser if you want. Then, open up the Publishing dialog. In this dialog, you have different settings that you can configure for publishing out your viewlet. And of course, we're not going to be able to cover all of them, but we will describe them each briefly. On the left side of the dialog, you'll see your publishing targets. If the target that you need is not listed, you can go ahead and add it. So for example, the most common would be the current project. Let's go ahead and add that here and we'll move it up in the list and we'll come back and talk about that one in just a bit. You can also opt to go ahead and add a local or a network folder, so maybe you want to publish there instead. So to add a local or a network folder, simply choose the option, and then you can go ahead and choose where you want to publish to. Now, in this example, just for expediency, we're going to go ahead and choose a folder located on our desktop, though it's not recommended. This is just for this particular video that we're showing this location here. So maybe we'll choose this folder here and it adds it to our list. Now, those are the two we'll be working with in this particular video, but let's just take a look at all the others and briefly describe their purposes here, and then you can play around with them more on your own. So you also have the option to publish directly to your FTP server. A dialog would come up with requesting information for configuration settings for your server. If you have a Vulet Central account, whether it's on our servers, Carbon Vulet Central, or it's self-hosted, you can opt to set that up as a publishing target and publish directly to your Vulet Central account. You can also set up configuration to publish directly to your YouTube account, your Facebook account, create executable files, or if you need to meet some compliancy standards, you can choose the AICC publishing target option, or you can set up the example to publish out to SCORM to create a zip package based upon compliancy standards for SCORM 1.2 or 2004 and it'll create a zip file that you can plug directly into your own LMS. You also have options to print hard copies such as a PDF document, a Word document, an HTML document if you want, and finally if you want to print images out based upon your slides, you can choose to use the publishing target for the image set. Now, depending upon what you choose will determine what options you have over here. But we're only going to show you the first two examples. If you need further information or more details on any of these publishing targets, please consult your user guide or you can contact us directly at support at carbon.com. Now let's go ahead and First, let's look at the most common default publishing target known as Current Project. This will allow you to publish directly to your project folder in a folder that will be created called Output. So this is the path to my project folder for my current project. I can choose from three different output formats. SWF is the most common. It's a flash file. I can also choose to have an FLV or an MP4. We're going to keep the SWF one selected. If I have interactivity in my particular viewlet, I can have the interaction results sent to me using the Carbon Email Reporting Server, or I can go ahead and set up a custom reporting server, or I can go ahead and opt not to have any results sent at all if I don't have any interactive slides. For simplicity, we'll keep that option selected. I have additional options as well, including the ability to enable the resume feature. What this means is I no longer have to publish out, let's say, to SCORM and have my LMS allow the viewer to resume from where they've left off in the viewlet. Now this local enable resume provides the ability for viewlets published on your own web server that if the viewer leaves off at any particular point. When they come back to it, they will be able to get back to where they left off and resume at that point. So you choose your options here and then simply click Publish. And once you click the Publish option here, you'll get your progress bar and then a dialog will come up that will allow you to go ahead and view 
from where it was published. Here, in this case, we published out to SWF, so it's going to launch the underscore viewlet underscore swift dot html file or we can browse to see all of the published files in this case we use the current project option so it published it to our project folder in an output folder now if I want to put the, this on my web server I have to put all of these files in the same directory folder on my web server and link to the file ending in underscore fuelit underscore swift dot html so that when that link is clicked it will launch the viewlet in the browser properly sized and it will call all of the settings set up for the published file now let's go ahead and back out of that we'll close this and let's look at one other option now we talked about setting up a local or a network folder which we added here now you'll notice here unlike the current project where we can't edit the output folder here or the destination where it's going the local or network folder option will actually let us go ahead and edit the location where we're publishing out our file so if you need to publish outside of the output folder within your projects project folder this is the option to use and again it's the same thing you can choose the output emailing results enabling resume and so on and then publish out and just to reiterate again if you have any questions on any of these additional publishing targets or any of the two that we covered please consult your user guide or you can email us at support at carbon .com. that's it for this topic if you do have any questions on any of carbon's products and services please visit us online at www.carbon.com. Happy viewlitting!